Had our situations been reversed, I might have found it hard to understand why the Great Spirit had not taken better care of his children. Even at that age, I was able to see the tragedy of the Indian race. Had I been cheated of my ancestral land, forced further and further from my way of life, and even murdered, my religious strength might have been shaken. Had I found myself alone, a hermit of the woods, last representative of a once great people, I might have wondered about my teaching Manitou. It was typical of this man, however, not to wonder at those things that happened to him. Certain events simply took place. It was not his station to do anything more than adapt and continue on. I don't think Joe ever doubted his maker, later to reject the doubt. He simply never doubted at all. This man felt all things were a part of his great plan. Even if he could see no logic at times, that was because he was a child. The great spirit was the father, and Joe could only obediently follow. One might say that his situation allowed no other choice, but that would overlook the fact that Joe had never really wanted one. The woodlands that his maker had provided, the meager life he allowed, were things the Indian appreciated in every fiber of his sick old body. <laughs>